Hello, my name is Paul Binion. I'm one of the sales engineers at Hard Dollar Corporation. Today we're going to take a look at man hours and equipment hours that are actually performed out in the field so that uh, you can capture that information. We're going to take a look at where that's captured in Hard Dollar in the job tracking register. We're going to focus in on the clearing and grubbing item. If we double click on that, uh, we get to our different more detailed tabs that tell us exactly how things are progressing in the project. Um, on the current status tab I can see what my man hours are that are planned and then also how those man hours are actually performing and the same for my equipment hours. Uh, so I can see you know, what percentage of my man hours and my equipment hours am I using at this point. In this case, I'm using 25% of my man hours, 30% of my equipment hours, and uh, I've done just 18% of the work on this particular item. So right off the bat, I can get a, a big picture kind of view here. But I can also jump to more detail if I click on my man hour details tab. I get a little more of a visual representation of this. I have in blue my planned man hours. Again, this would be the planned man hours that comes from the estimate and we predicted that it would be 480 man hours to get this clearing work done. And I then am receiving particular entries that are coming in from the field. Now these can be using our timesheet collector, they can be coming in via Excel import, or using our API. Whichever method is used to pull this information in, uh, once it comes in, I now have for each daily entry uh, a, a a total of 40 man hours it looks like that, that was accomplished each day and I can have equipment hours as well. So that's telling me uh, how many man hours have been expended and that's what we see in red here. So we've done three days at 40 man hours per day. We have a total of 120 man hours that we've used and that's 25 percent of all of our planned man hours. Well then depending on the forecasting method that I've decided in hard dollar on my production details tab I'm able to then pr predict where are we going to end up on our man hours at completion. We can see that we are going grossly over. Um, this is a big red flag for me. There's apparently something wrong with the crew that we are using right now. It's the, the productivity is, is way off. I'm, I'm going to be really going over on my man hours. So now as the project manager, I have the insight that I need to be able to make some changes uh, so that we can have things on track. The same is the case with my equipment hours. I can jump to that, see what equipment hours are being used compared to what I had planned and be able to forecast at completion where we'll end up at the equipment hour level. So that wraps up our session for today. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you next time.